Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of my 30 Days to, Sci to Die series. It's, it is the morning of day 11, and there's a mini horde outside. They've been crashing into my stuff out here for the past in-game half hour. Hear them? I think that may have been a screamer, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but we have a lot to do today, so let's have a look, quick look at the map. We are going to head down here. We have seven POIs to hit up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to strip these places of the uh, concrete and cobblestone um, because we want the cobblestone to be able to finish up our wall around here. Um, and we want the concrete to be able to start working on the, the place we're going to be holding down, holding down the horde for the day 30. Uh, uh, Blood Moon Horde that's going to show up. And we're going to go out here and just have a look around. See if we can get some XP off these guys. Get them out of our way for the morning here. Ooh, that fell short. Oh, still short, eh? There we go. There's somebody over here too, wasn't there? There he is. She is. They are. Oh, I got him. Wow. That's uh, crazy. Here they come. Yeah, it's mini horde. You're going to die horribly out here. You know that, guys, right? Uh... Where they all go? I got a ton of arrows, so I'm not worried, but... There we go, another hit. Come on over here, buddy. Bring it. What's up with you, bud? Here he comes. Enjoy those spikes. I gotta have to replace them all. There we go, some more experience. So in the morning, like they, these guys took down a fair bit out here. Come on, over here. There we go. All right, let's get these frames down. Yeah, uh, one, two, three. Let's go out here and finish these guys off. Thanks for holding on to the ammo for me. Appreciate it. Yeah, there's a guy over there. I don't know if that's a... Is that a cop? No, it's not a cop. Just a big guy. It's the big guy. What's up, dude? Let's get some XP off these guys. I think we got a couple of... Probably had a couple of hordes that showed up last night. Oh, he's done. He was the one that was... Uh, oh, untouched bird nest. What do you know? He was the one that was walking on this side over here, like... Did a fair bit of damage. I thought he died, though, but I guess not. Ooh, see ya. All right, let's see. We'll go see where Big Mama's gang went to. Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? Home run! Yeah, they ground up a few of them over here. Not a lot, but... That's why I like putting these spikes down early on. Come on, Mo. Get out of there. Swing and a hit. Just go down. Hey, big mama. Ah, really? All right, let's get over here. Drink some water. Yeah, let's finish these guys off, then we'll... I should have just left on the bicycle, but I want the XP. Okay. Ooh. Maimed ya. Right in the face. Yeah, I hate using the power attack. Just not sustainable over long periods of time. 
it's great if you're like just killing one zombie but if you're using killing more than one it's just better to use a normal attack Ooh, power outage and good night thank you oh my god she just dropped a tool and die set are you kidding me that's two in this game all right let's get on the bike let's put these on we'll be into the uh snow biome soon enough come on straight down this street got to cut these trees down they're kind of in the way of me seeing stuff it's gonna be a little laggy in the background I got stuff compressing but we're only going down here to be uh, digging up stuff so uh, most likely if nothing really happens down here I'll probably just cut most of this out because there's no real reason for you guys to watch me digging up stuff if I go into buildings or if I'm fighting somebody sure I mean I'll leave the recording running but uh, there's no reason to watch all this digging. Most likely what I'll do is I'll just pick up this bicycle once we're here. Because everything's within foot distance. Yeah. Let's kill this guy. Don't want him in our way. Don't bang on that car, man. I brought lots of arrows. I had like 85 to start, so I should be around 60 or so now. See ya! Did I? I haven't checked this yet. Shotgun ammo, please. Well, I'll take that. That's good. Alright, I'm going to start digging this up. Actually, I want to see how much this iron shovel is going to give us here. Oh yeah, twos. Nice. So I'm going to dig up all this stuff. I'm mostly concerned with the cobblestone, but we really need the uh, concrete too. Since we don't have a mixer yet, we probably won't have for quite a while. Um, the more we can pick up early game, the better off we'll be. Like I said, once we get some rebar frame going, um, we'll be able to easily um, get our horde base up and running. It'll actually happen really fast once we're ready to do it. And probably most likely by that time we'll actually have a concrete mixer too, so um, we'll be able to get it up and running really quickly. But early game, right now, well, in this part of the game anyway, I just want to get those walls, the uh, spikes up and running, just so while we have all our uh, all our um, stuff making concrete and whatever, we're going to have the furnaces running, we'll have the cement mixer running. What we can do is... Um, not have to worry about screamers and stuff showing up because they'll just kill themselves yeah two hits man nice all right guys so i'm going to start grabbing all this stuff and um if anything comes up i will uh of course do the commentary and uh show you what's going on but for the most part i'm just going to gather some materials and when we come back most likely i'll be at home and we'll be building stuff so i'll see you then Alright guys, well it's been a lousy day for uh, getting stuff done here. Let's actually go in here too. Uh, it's been raining like all day for this, but let's have a look here really quick. Uh, we're going to drop some stuff on in here because we're full. Um, yeah, as you can see, we got a ton of cobble. Uh, not bad. Not bad. You know, so... Um, I hit up a bunch of, we, we found a, a pig and a, um, a deer on the way. I hit up a bunch of boulders. So we got a bunch of stuff, you know. Uh, let's just do that for now. Uh, let's go in here. I want to get the stuff out of here, but we got to clear out the mobs here first. So let's see if we can spot anybody. Yeah, they're here, but... Ooh. Oh, we got her. Oh, shot through the heart, and I'm to blame. What's up, Mo? Don't 
spooked that one right in the face. So we killed a bunch of um, lumberjacks while we were at a doing the other stuff. Not a lot, but a handful. We got a bit of experience that way. We got like three levels of experience while we were collecting stuff. And most of that was just from... Oh, I'm tired. Most of that was just from um, mining, like, resources. Oh, come on. This guy's, like, tricky. There we go. Let's get these stone arrows. Thank you for holding those for me. That's it? Alright, so there's got to be... Actually, let's do this here. So we got to... Like, crap tons of stuff. The thing about these guys is they can't get past these cars. So if they can't get by the car, they bang on it. And it can explode and I don't want to lose anything in here. So let's try and kill them early. Which I think is... Oh, there's somebody back there. Looks like another biker. Oops. Oh shit, somebody else here too, eh? Shit. Serves you right. Hit me. Not the car. Shit. That scared the hell out of me. He's still alive. You're a tough son of a bitch, man. I don't see anything up there. Yeah, a little bit of wood. Alright, let's get this stuff and get out of here. Not much left of that. A couple glass jars. Some ammo. Oh, we want those. Let's take this out of here. Grab these. This. Man, we don't get much for the uh, concrete, but uh, early game, if you can't, if you don't have a uh, cement mixer, then it's definitely worth it. And we might as well grab some of this. I wonder if we can get anything for these. A little bit of wood. Nothing out of that. Yeah, not much. Three wood, huh? Yeah, we can take this. Not that. Don't need this. Uh, okay, what do we got in here? Anything good? Alright, let's get home. Ooh, more ammo. Nice. I didn't find much in the trash. I didn't have my looting helmet on, though. I had my XP helmet on. Um, so I didn't find much in the trash when I was searching and when we were picking up stuff here. Alright, let's get... Um, I don't know if we'll have enough room to bring everything in at once. And then we'll get, ridding, get working on the, the uh, wall here. We definitely need to... Um, we get it all? We did. I don't have room to pick the bike up though. That's fine. We'll come back and get it. Oh. We'll get some cobble... Ugh, some flagstone going in the workbench. What did I just... The hell just happened? There we go. There we go. Alright. Um, so we'll leave a thousand out. Concrete can come in here. That's actually pretty darn good. Sand, clay, stone. We got a ton of stone. Don't have to worry about that now. Wood can all go in there for now. Uh, more. Oh yeah, we want that out. Um, iron. Okay, so we got uh, lead and brass that can go in here. Turn that on. 
And then we've got uh, the iron. And let's drop maybe half of that in here. I'm going to need it to make forged iron stuff with. So let's just do this. Turn that on. Hope I don't forget that. Um, flagstone blocks. 250. Nice. All right, let's put this stuff away now. So animal fat, raw meat. We got so much meat, man. We got enough for three more bacon and eggs, but we ate more than that today for sure. I think we had four or something. Let's wear this. Let's wear this. Uh, anything else go in here? I don't think so. How do these glass jars do? Okay. Um, ammo can go. Oh, no. Sorry. Uh, leather. Duct tape. Gunpowder. Yep. Yep. Uh, Dukes. No. Yep. Uh, yep. Okay, in here, we put the tool and die set for here for now. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, ammo casings can go in here. Ammo. This, where do we have our dukes? Is it? Oh yeah, down here. That's right. Dukes can go in here. Uh, let's put our these guys in here. Gotta figure out this map too. Let's repair this. Let's repair this. Okay, cool. Uh, these can all go in here for now. Except for these 41, which we want to keep out. <laughs> steel arrowheads can go in here for now. We'll turn them into steel arrows later. Iron. Um, let's just drop it in here for now. How's this doing? It's going to be a... Oh, that's done. Let's turn that off. This guy. That'll be going for a while. Let's grab um, this. They should have a way to set this so that you can just, it'll just turn off at a certain amount. Oop, 37, um, gypsum in here. We're going to check this map out today too, just not quite yet. Let's go get our bike. Got lots of time in the day. We don't, really? Wow, I thought we had plenty of time. I remember my, like, working away out there and I'm like, oh, it's only like, Noon. Oh well. Let's grab some wood. Make a few spikes to replace the ones that we lost. Then I guess tonight um, we'll start making. Um, let's just make all these into spikes. Uh, we'll start making some more. Um, more spikes for around the building. Let's just grab as much wood as we can right now. So we're only on day 11, so it's not that bad. We're, I mean, we're, we're, I think I'm kind of ahead of schedule. When it comes to the base building, let's use this, let's use this. Yeah, we don't need to use the first aid bandage. Not really fighting anything right now. So I think we're, uh, as far as base building goes, I think we're ahead of schedule. Usually by day 20, I like to have a good framework, or I want to have a good framework of what the base is going to look like. And then it's just filling it in at that point, right? That's the horde base, I mean. The main base, I mean, it's pretty obvious. Big square, or big rectangle, and that's all it's going to be. Um, let's, uh, how many more can we get? 20? Let's just do nine. So we've got 20 in total. These, actually, let's put these down here. I'm not going to put these in any kind of real order here. Just enough so we got them out here. Let's grab some more wood. Um, so really, I'm only, I'm only really using wood for spikes. And I will most likely upgrade the upper half of our building like right now it's all the the uh, normal wood I'll most likely upgrade it one more just in case for whatever reason the horde breaks in the building's got some more stability and I might even I'm not even 100% sure yet but what I might do is make it too thick so we'll have like um, 
the regular wall plus one more. That way if they do break in and start breaking stuff down, it'll take them a while before the, the stability of the building will be in jeopardy. All right, let's grab this one here and then a the couple of these boulders so we can go in. Yeah, the thing I'm worried about with the base is if they do break through and I have to retreat to the main building, is the stability if they begin to wreck it. Now I think probably we'll be okay. Like if they do break through, it's going to take them a while to tear that main building down. Or it'll take them a while to destroy the horde base. So um, we'll have, we should have plenty of time before the morning comes. That base should, should survive. The main building should survive till morning. Then we should be able to just finish the horde up. I mean, it really depends on how big it's going to be. I have no idea how big it's going to be. It all depends on our game stage. All right, let's grab this last boulder, put down a few spikes. Looks like they've damaged a whole bunch out here. We'll quickly just go around and fill some places in. Right now, this is our main source of iron. Level 31, that's four levels today. All right, let's see our spikes here. So you didn't break the whole thing here, so that's fine. Looks like we're clear all along here. I was really hoping to get that, that wall today. Well, what's up, you? Right. See, the... Power attacks are okay. Not the best. I see people knock the zombies down and then go for the power attacks. So I should probably apply that more often. All right, two here. Like that. I don't think Mo destroyed the one over here, so I'm just going to lay out... Yeah, we'll just put 10 across here. All right. I don't think they saw me. Just fade away. Back in the house. You didn't see anything. All right, so we are in here now for the evening. Uh, 792, not bad. A bit more of that. One egg, eh? All right, well, get what we can. So this should be done. Yep, so we can turn this off. And this one, still got a bit of time to go. Let's drop this in here. I'm gonna let it run tonight. Uh, let's grab a bit more coal, or uh, clay, sorry. I think we're gonna need that much at least. Mm, yeah, we'll leave this for now. Okay, so. Let's put this stuff in here. Actually, the lead you can put into here. Turn that on. Um, nothing goes in there. Water, stone. Actually, we wanted to make. I'm gonna make 65 arrows. I think. Let's do that. Might as well. Just to, gonna keep making them out of stone for now. I could make them out of iron, but really, like. We're not really in any kind of danger at the moment where we need iron arrows, that is. So, no big deal. So we're going to finish up making whatever bacon and eggs we got left. Uh, I think we can probably safely leave the cowboy hat in here for now. In case we go to the desert, we can pull it out. Pine seeds can just go in here for now. And I think tomorrow we have a look at the treasure map. Actually, you know what? It's relatively been a short episode so far. So let's go look at the treasure map first thing in the morning and I might end the episode with that I need 15 of these wish it was a better way to separate those all right let's just do this not that this um, don't have any wood I'm gonna get two because I want I need to do some more water here uh, where is our water now we don't have any more snow really 
Um, I guess we better. I, we know I could have picked up a whole bunch while I was out there. Damn. Oh well, no big deal. Uh, we only need one then. All right, bacon and eggs. All right, guys. So I will see you in the morning. I think our cobble should be done in here. Should have 250 now, right? Yeah, flagstone. Um, we used 130 something, and we didn't make it all the way around. So we got a bit more to go. So we might have enough for one more level. So I think we're going to probably need. I'm guessing another 250, but we're going to just make. We'll do 500, then we'll figure out what we need after that. So let's just get it going in here. Another 125. That's like at least half. So 250 would go all the way around once. Right? We're, we're two and a bit. Sorry, we're one and a bit. So we're maybe like 50 blocks away, I think, maybe. Or more. 60. Plus another 250 for level 3. Plus the 125. Yeah, we're going to need a whole nother... Uh, because I want to go up four. I'm hoping that's enough. We're going to need a hell of a lot more cobble, that's for sure. Because you figure that's like 500 blocks. It's about 200 all... Well, no, it's probably more than 200 all the way around. 200 and something. So we're going to need, this is going to only cover 100 blocks, 147 blocks, to upgrade at once. So we're going to need to make a hell of a lot of cobble. So it's going to be gravel. Yeah, or not gravel, uh, what do you want to call it? Let's just use one of these. Um, cl sorry, clay and stone. We got a ton of stone. It's easy to get stone. Clay, it's just, I find it just takes forever to dig it up. So let's, we need, maybe we need snow tomorrow too, I don't know. Alright. There's our food. They're out there breaking, trying to break their way in. Alright, let's see on this Stefan's treasure map here. Alright. Uh, you've got this, probably dead or even worse than one of the monsters. Leave this map of one of many stockpiles of buried supplies. You find it. Promise, promise me you'll use it to make the world a better place again. Truly yours, Stefan. 1.5 kilometers in that direction. That's actually not that bad. Where is it? Holy shit, that's a long way. It's in the middle of the desert. I mean, we could ride out there tomorrow. It's the morning riding there. We need to get we need to get more snow anyway. But you know what? No, I think we need to work on the base tomorrow. That needs to be a, the day of base working. Um, get these spikes out. Let's grab a couple of thousand. And turn these into spikes. Um, I love the wood spikes because they're just so easy to repair. That's not even going to go all the way around the building either. Going to need the hammer tomorrow. Um, what else do we need here? How are we doing? Still going, eh? Um, going to need... Well... Let's hold off upgrading it. We only need to really upgrade the bottom two rows. Well, even just the middle row all the way around. Like the second row up. That's mostly where they're going to be beating. Like once they break through the spikes, that's where they'll, where they'll be hitting. But even then, if they're not coming to attack us, they're just going to wander into the spikes and hit them anyway, right? So... Yeah... So I think just the middle row. Yeah, probably. Alright, that's got that done. 
and this is still going let's put the rest of this in here I know we're gonna need it at some point most likely for the rebar like when we get down to actually you know what let's spend our we got some time let's spend our points here we got like four right we got six available <sighs> it's awesome okay intellect we got it at level six right now what can we get here we got advanced engineering Nothing in there. We can craft mini bikes, but we, we're going to go for the motorcycle, so I'm not worried about that right now. Physician, first aid kit, and steroids. Uh, can make more, better meals here. We want to build a farm, but I don't think we need that right away. Let's have a look here. Perception. Let's bring that up one at least. Um, what does this have to be? Level three. It does. Okay. Um, and strength. Increasing melee and block damage. You know what? Let's go um, at least one level there. One here. This is going to make everything go so much faster. Skull Crusher would be nice, but I don't think we need it at that point. We're not really into total combat right yet. Uh, but let's buy one fortitude. I think another agility. We could go with rule one cardio. But stamina when sprinting. Um, but let you know what? Let's just buy another level of agility. It's nice having that. It's nice having that large stamina. I think. Okay. Oh, we bought cardio. Shoot. Ah, damn it. Ah, I forgot to click. Oh, well, no big deal. It'll help a bit anyway. We don't do a lot of sprinting when we're on our bike, so. These are still going. So we're going to surround the base one more time with these spikes. But first, we're going to lay the flagstone blocks down. Uh, these should be done now, right? Almost done. We're going to lay it two levels high. I mean, the other way to do it would be to build too deep. Too deep, and then three high on the outside one. Because then we can just stand on that rampart behind it and shoot out if we had to. But like I said, we're not going to be killing anything out there. Um, maybe it's just the back that we fill with it with uh, defense like we have a look at the map here right so we're building our horde base back here right we can fill the map or fill this side in here with um, brick wall and just leave all the rest of this flagstone because really I mean we're not we don't plan on being in the house for the horde day we plan on being out here so they probably not going to be attacking the house. They, if they come, they're going to be coming from all directions. They're probably going to be hitting a lot of the spikes, but unlikely they'll break through anywhere here. But at least if this wall is all brick, then when we're out here, if we have to retreat back inside, it'll take them a while to get through there. And I can fire at them while I'm out here and then retreat back into the house and it'll take them a while to get through. The other thing we could do is if we get get some landmines going, we can lay landmines along here or just back here. So if they do manage to break through and they're coming at the building, like well, we can explode a bunch of them with landmines. I want to do that. I want I actually want to get landmines going, which is why I've been kind of holding on to um, um, anything that we can make. Like we can make tin can um, landmines. Uh, you can do them out of hubcaps. You can do them out of cooking pots, right? So we'll probably make a bunch of those, lay them around. Um, yeah, whether we use them all right away is another story, but at least we'll have them. Um, take two of these out of here. We found two in garbages. All right, this is done, right? Yeah, and this one was still going, right? Yeah, it'll be going for a little while, it looks like. Okay, it's almost morning. Well, we got another hour, hour and a half, two hours. All right, there's our 500 blocks. I mean, I guess I could go out and start laying them, but 
like I said, I'm, I don't, I'm not confident in my, my zombie fighting skills. If you got a mini horde, then they're going to wreck stuff, and it's just going to be a waste of resources. All right, well, we'll be back when the morning's up. All right, guys, so it's just before the morning of day 12 here. So I'm just going to actually go out and start working. Uh, we're going to knock this out. And we're going to replace this with flagstone. And then we're going to upgrade it to brick. Because I did bring enough to do that. Now we should all be brick all the way around here, right? And now our wall is like right here. So we need a way to get out there. So let's do this. I'm going to put some doors here. Just so we can get outside here. Okay, and then we'll put, uh, where are you here? It might be a bad idea to do this, but uh, did I make two doors? I thought I made two doors. Actually, the more I think about it, I think this might be a bad idea. Actually, it won't matter. If they do get up on here anyway, they can make their way down here and destroy this anyway, so it won't really matter. This is just more for me. So let's put another door on this side. There's the morning. So once we get it, we're going to go out here. Okay, let's put... Can't put you in yet. All right. Now we can do that. All right. Nice. So now we can get out here. Uh, at least on the wall that we have, anyway. All right. So we're going to definitely need to go around fixing all of the... I'm going to make sure this is at least three high to start. Fix all of the uh, spikes. Like, we lost one there. There was a few zombies last night that we uh, lost some stuff with. Let's get these blocks all laid out first. Pretty much makes the... Uh, makes it impossible for wanderers to come walking around our main building here. It'll keep them at the front door, which will be, you know, even better protected. So, uh, we're going to make turn that into kind of like a fighting area. So, whoop. So if we do want to take on a horde, we can do that. Man, we're going to burn through these blocks so fast. I think maybe I made too many. Like three would probably be enough. But I like the idea of having it four high. Because there's sometimes when the the, uh, the zombies can definitely hit up um, to the third block. So if you have it four high, you could be standing on the fourth one and shooting down on them and not have to worry about them hitting you. So let's make sure we have enough to make this three high all the way around. Ah, then we will start going on four. Alright guys, so there we go, we got w the next level up here, so let's do one more. Because what we can do, um, we could put a fighting platform up here shooting down, but no biggie. So let's just drop in one more, we got plenty of blocks now. 
and then what we'll use the rest for is probably a little fighting turret or maybe we'll just you know what maybe we'll um, brick in the front of the building there Alright guys, so there's the last one in there. So, we've got our up four blocks now all the way around the outside. I feel a lot more comfortable with this. So, let's take out the rest of the wood here. And we'll replace this with um, the rest of the flagstone here. Um, yeah, figures. So... I want to take it all. I think we want to take it all the way around here. I don't foresee them breaking into here, but they might. All right, a little bit better than wood. Let's take the rest of this out. All right, and there's the last two. So for now, this will do. I mean, we'll have to upgrade, I think, this a little bit more. Uh, but we should be pretty good. So let's put this... Actually, we don't need to put that away just yet. We're going to go outside now. Uh, put this here. Bring the wood frames out. So we can cross. Let's bring with the hammer down. 140 spikes. Plenty. Let's repair these guys. I think I brought enough wood for, to repair all this stuff. If not, we'll have to go back and get some. We're just chop some trees here. All right. It looks like we had some visitors last night. What? Ah, using the wrong, using the wrong button. Okay, it's those fixed. They'll always be like trying to get in the front door here. Is it going to be hearing me here? Also, too, I think the um, screamers, because the um, forges are right up here, they're going to be coming in this way, too. So, All right, that looks pretty good. So, let's get this upgraded. Probably should take that pole out. Need at least two all the way across the front. Screamers will most likely try and make their way around the front. Oops, that's the wrong direction. And that's the wrong direction. Because <sighs> I'm an idiot. Right? No, of course not. Why would that be correct? Why would that ever be correct? All right, let's turn this a little more. Just so they don't beat that down too early. And we'll add a few more on this side. That should probably be pretty good. Let's check out the rest of this place now. Uh, so, there we go. At this side, right? I'm not a total idiot. Oh, maybe I am. Let's see how many of these we can get down here. Come on. There you go. Probably thought I was trying to upgrade the grass or something. Okay. I think with this stuff down, we should be pretty darn safe. Even if a wandering horde comes at night and detects us, this is most likely going to take care of most of them. You know, there's like a cop or whatever. It should probably handle that pretty well. I don't think cops regenerate. I know the radiated zombies do, but I'm pretty sure the cops don't. All right. Now let's go back to the other side. 
check the back here. I think we checked it yesterday. I think it was pretty good. Most zombies are not going to be coming from the backside because I'm far enough away, he says, and then finds places where zombies have appeared. Back here. I guess if they just accidentally fumble into it. All right, this side looking okay. All right, let's get the second line up. Like I said, this is just... So if we decide we want to go do a bunch of stuff at night inside the house like, and make noise, the zombies will just come and just die. You don't have to worry about taking care of them or anything. They'll just die. Not smart enough to survive this, unfortunately. And like I said, I like to have this at least three thick. On Horde Knight, probably a little, little more. Alright, let's see if we can grab some more wood here. Hey, what's up, you? How are you doing tonight? Today? Oh. Alright, let's get some wood. So this is all going to go into spikes. Want to make sure we keep the trees away from our uh, backyard here. Should probably go take that one down up there now too. It's just because um, I want a nice clear open field of view. So when the zombies do start coming, easily be able to see them. Now I understand you can put a drop a tree on these guys. What's up, you? You don't look so good. Slight discoloration there. All right, we're gonna get some spikes rolling after this. I think I will try and do a double layer around the house today. Um, so, tools, traps, wood spikes. Gonna need slightly more than 41, I think. Probably gonna need well, probably close to 60 or 80. We got most of the place filled out. Actually, no. We still have to do the whole back part, right? So probably going to need more like 100. Getting tired. Okay, that's 60. Did we check this? We did. And then once we get these done, we'll head over and grab that uh, that treasure just to see what it is. I think we got plenty of stamina and stuff to go and do that. All right, a couple more trees, and I think we're ready to go. Four seventy-two. That's another twenty. Yeah, we've almost got enough now. Um, I'm going to plant a few more of these before we go. Alright. This is probably going to be enough. Well, let's plant a few of these. Two, three, one, two. Yep. Yep. Come on. Sure. Because that's going to look nice. Alright, that's... Well, you know what, we got four more. Let's just plant them randomly out here. Three, four. Beautiful. Let's get inside. Well, let's get our spikes up. I hear another zombie. Zamboni. It's either over there. No biggie. We gotta knock these down too, man. See what I mean? Like, these things just look like zombie shapes to me before they resolve. Let's grab this one out of here and this one. Yeah. 
Yeah, I got a little bit of wood for it, but not much. All right, so keep going here. Did we miss it? Oh, that just goes down. Okay. Oh, for shit's sake. I thought the block turned the right way. Okay, we should have enough for the two rings now. Whatever we have left over, we'll throw around front, hop on our bike, and get the hell out of here. Go pick up that. Um treasure find out what it is I'm hoping it's something good I'd like an SMG or an AK but we're gonna have to really start uh, uh oh we might not have enough oh damn short it was short but not by much here let's just make uh let's just make 10 why not it'll be plenty at least things at least stuff gets made relatively quickly once you get your uh, ingenuity, like your, uh, is it ingenuity? What is it called again? Whatever, your brains. Something that I don't have, apparently. Once you get that up high enough, it's relatively easy to make stuff quickly. You just have to be smart. Ingenuity, right? Right. Sure. All right, let's throw the uh, bike down. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go drop this shiz off because I do not want to be encumbered when I come back because I want to pick up some other stuff too while I'm there. Let's drop these in here. Flagstone blocks can go in here. This can go in here. And this can go here and here. And then in this organics, you and you. And let's bring the yucca juice instead today. Um, this is done. Turn that off. Okay, I feel like we're missing something here, but whatever. Good to go. All right. Let's eat and drink before we get on our bike. Throw that down. And then let's get you and you. Let's get rolling. All right, so when we're out there, I want to pick up some snow on the way. Um, I didn't bring the puffer coat or anything. Oh, well, no big deal. What's up, buddy? Blah. So we'll cross the uh, snow biome here. And on the way back, we'll pick up some snow. Let's have a look at the map real quick. Um, Yeah, best bet just to make a beeline for the desert, I think. So let's do that. I want to get as much yucca as we can while we're there. I want to get as much aloe as we can. Every time we go through the desert, I want to be stopping to get those. Um, as you can see, I took a lot of the sand down in these piles. I didn't do all of the piles. I did a few of them. But yeah, we, got, we cleared all seven of these yesterday. Now I didn't, oh it looks like I missed some stuff over here. I missed those too. Oh okay, well. I almost got it all in. Um, but yeah, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so the yucca and aloe, we want to get as much as we can from the desert. Um, every time we go through there we want to pick up more. I want to turn some of them into seeds too. So we're going to have to, to uh, do that, get our farm up and running. Um, the next couple of points, I think, maybe we start to um, get living off the land going so we can make some seeds. Uh, just so, like I said, we can get a farm started. It, we're not going to have much in it, obviously, but, um, you know, if we take the second level of, um, of chef, we should be able to make some half decent food. The bacon and eggs is pretty darn good, but we got tons of meat, so if we just use the meat, 
um, and then like potatoes and mushrooms and things like that. We can make like beef stew, which is like way better. And mushrooms we can grow, potatoes we can grow. All we have to do is just find meat, right? Then we don't have to rely on finding bird's nests all the time to get eggs. I wish, wish there was a way we could capture a chicken. Like they should have it so that you should, like you should be able to capture chickens somehow. And then you can start a chicken farm. But whatever. Can't have everything. Alright, there's the desert. We didn't even get cold, that's good. Okay, we're going to go straight there. It's not very far away. Maybe it'll be beside some of these, these, uh, stone boulders so we can get some iron. Eh, we're hot and I did not bring my cowboy hat. Oh. Right here somewhere. All right. Let's have a look at this. So yeah, I found out these don't respawn. Uh, just a way to get like extra feathers and stuff if you want them. This guy's going to come right over to me. Oh, come on. We got ripped off. There we go. All right, I should... Well, oh, I'm really hot now. Uh, let's drink some more yucca. Uh, is there any way I can cool off? Oh, did the yucca do it? Did not do it. Let's get this guy gone. Get this thing and get out of here. Cowboy hat would have been nice. I wish there were... Okay, we're not so bad now. Okay, so the middle is like somewhere right here. Yeah, like right underneath the bicycle. At least we'll get lots of sand out of this. Not for sure I heard a zombie. Yeah, if we're not if we're not hot, we're gonna tear through this dirt. Yeah, it's Mo. So I was over there causing problems. I don't know how far down we have to go. I think it's two or three blocks. Could be anywhere in here. God, they're all showing up now. Oh, there it is. Come on, AK. Well, I'll take that. 147 shotgun rounds. Are you kidding me? Might as well grab clay and dirt while we're here and stone and whatever else. Alright, what do we got here? Yeah, sand's not bad. 14. We got 14 uh, silver nuggets. Guess I could have just broke that. Alright, let's just put our bike in here. Don't need this. And let's go and break us up some aloe. I don't know why we were hot before, we're not hot now. Morning sun maybe? I don't know. Whatever. Okay, we need a bunch of aloe. Ooh. Okay. Hello and yucca. Yucca, yucca. Anybody know the correct uh, pronunciation? Because it sure as hell ain't me. Alright, here's some boulders too. Nice. Boulders are great for XP, but also iron. Because damn, we need iron. Go 
could break these through these a hell of a lot faster now too. All right, let's eat. Mmm, delicious. All right, so the goal for the next little while um, is going to be POI hunting. So we've got a, our wall up. We've got two levels of um, um, spikes around our base. Don't have to worry about screamers now. They decide to show up. They're just going to die horribly on the spikes. So we don't have to worry about that at nighttime. Even if a small horde shows up, they're just going to die horribly on all the spikes. So we will work on doing POI raids. Uh, we want to try and find better weapons. The shotgun's okay. Um, but we want to try and get better weapons. We want to try and find beakers. Um, because we're definitely going to need to, um, definitely going to need to, um, make an alchemy station so we can make, uh, what's up buddy? A right, and a left, and a right, and a left, and he's down! Um, we're going to need to make our own ammunition at some point. Uh, we won't need it right away for the first horde. We'll most likely have plenty of ammo for the first horde. Uh, we'll be using arrows for the first little while. Then we'll be into most likely shotgun rounds because we got a ton of them now. We got a ton of nine mil, so we'll probably be using the pistol a fair bit. Um, we got a magnum. If we can make magnum shells, that would be great. Is that what we dug up? That's where we dug up. Um, so we'll have that for the for the uh, horde. I mean, we still got lots of time before the horde shows up, right? Um, but I like, I like, you know, I like just being prepared, building a base, having it look nice, having it a bigger size too. You know, it's a little bit more difficult to defend a larger base. Now, did I grab this one? I did not. Okay, that. All right, don't forget we need snow, man. Scrap that. Not worried about being overweight. We'll be putting the bicycle down in a second. We should be fine. I was hoping to find a lot more yucca than we found. How many have we got so far? We've got 30 aloe vera, 14 yucca. 14 is only going to give 7. Anything in here? No, we've already checked it. All right, let's grab some snow. Might as well do it while we're here. We can rip through this real fast. Why am I not getting anything for that? I notice there's sometimes when you go to dig stuff and it's just like there's a phantom block like there. Oh, no, it's working this time. All right, how much do we have here? 289, let's get one more. Close to 300, right? Oh yeah, 306, perfect. All right, let's get these. Yeah, we got a jerk flying overhead. I hear you, buddy. Got these nests already. What's up, guy? You want to see my axe? Look what it can do. Yeah, he wasn't interested. Okay. Come on. Eggs, nice. And I guess at least if we stay on the edge here, we can kind of dip back and forth between like the cold biome and the warm biome. And just like not have to worry about being cold or warm, you can just shift back and forth. But 
we're not f I was hoping to find a hell of a like a big patch of them I guess I could just ride around and find it but once we start growing these I mean and we start planting a lot we should be getting a lot and hopefully it'll cover what we're going to be using every day Alright, so it's the afternoon now. Let's have a look at the map here. Gone up a level. Uh, that's kind of the road home? Not really. Let's just go along this way. I want to see what is actually in the uh, deserted, or not the deserted, the um, wasteland biome. See how much of the city actually goes in there. Gotta find some good um, big POIs to hit. We've got a couple near us, which is good. There's the I think we have got the oil plant and the um, um, what's it called? Not the paper mill. The waterworks. We've got a couple of waterworks near us. So those should yield some I think half decent stuff. I don't know what's in the waterworks, but hopefully there's something in there that's worthwhile going in. Besides water. A lot of pipes, I would imagine. I thought we need a lot of pipes. We can make them now. But I'm one, of the, I'm one of those guys that likes to grab... Like, rather than having to make it, those things, I'm one of those people that just likes to grab it. Um, because it's you're better off saving your, your materials to make something that you really need. As opposed to pipes. Like, I mean, really... Ah, look. Okay, it's time for the pickaxe. Yeah, still four hits. Oh, it's better than the fists, I guess. I watch Cage play. He loves to, to uh, use bare knuckles. I'm not big on brawling, but... Whatever works, man. What's up, you? Look, I'm getting hot in this biome. Would you mind uh, coming over here so I can kill you? I don't want to go and... Uh, I don't want to be hot while I'm fighting you. Come on. I wonder if just being in this snow patch will actually work. It does. Oh, and you're done. Yeah, bat's still the winner. Double power attack with the bat. That's it. Game over. Alright, we should be able to make a ton of bacon and eggs now. Well, not a ton, but a decent amount. What do we got here? 15. I think we got one back at home, so that's another 8 bacon and eggs. That's pretty good. We've used those up in the past few days easily. Nails. Nice. Once again, it's one of those things we can take out, we can make out of the forge, but if you don't have to make it, why do it? Right? Glass panes. Throw those in the forge. Get some glass. Free stones. I know. I gotta stop picking up stones. I know. i just so addicted to it. I have no idea why. Look at all these bird nests, man. Oh, we got a crawler. Okay, we gotta leave. It's 5 o'clock. Gotta head home. We did pretty good here. What's up, dude? You make your way over here. I'll grant you your wish. And you too. Have a seat. As long as this guy doesn't hit me, the bird shouldn't attack. Oh, juicy. Did we grab this? We did. All right. Um, grab a few more from over here, and then we're out of here. All right, how much yucca do we have? We have 41 and 64. So we, I think we've got 15, is it? We have four, how many? I don't remember how many we have back home. I think we need an even number. So let's grab that, and that, and that, and let's get our bike out. 
and head home. Oh, come on. Do, 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 do. I don't know why they attack you when you're on your bike, but not on your bike. If you're not on your bike, like they just circle around for a bit. If you're injured, they'll attack you, but if you're not, they're just, you know, circle around until they're whatever. But if you're riding your bike, man, they'll fly up and attack you. I don't get that. I guess because they figure you're an easy target, maybe? I don't know. Whatever. So this road goes right to our town, right? Let's have a look at the map here. No, it does not. It's this way. This one kind of does. Okay, so tomorrow's episode will definitely be all POI hunting. Maybe we can get an early enough start. We can head over to the waterworks, get as much done there as possible. It's probably going to be a whole day for me because I'm really not that good at uh, clearing big POIs. I mean, I can certainly do it, but... There's a fire station here too. We've got an apartment building over here on the left, or the right, sorry. Sorry, direction of the dyslexic. Got to keep thinking about what direction I'm facing here. So this is uh, an apartment building we can go check out. Um, I really should have drank some water before I started coming home. What else? we got a pawn shop up over here. Looks like it's a big one too. Maybe we hit that up. The thing I like about pawn shops is they've certainly got a lot of um, like gun crates and things like that in the back rooms. And this building too, like you can go in down here. There's a lot of floor traps and stuff too or you just fall through. So you got to be careful about that. All right. Um, yeah, man, we can do like, there's a big pawn shop here we could go into. Have we checked out? We've gone this way already, right? Pretty sure we have. Yeah. There's that compound over there too, right? We might find beakers in there. I don't know if we'll find it in uh, Vic Garrison's Pawn and Loan. It might. I don't know. That building there, you know... That would almost be worth, if, if I had found that earlier, that big skyscraper, finishing off the skyscraper. Like, you could just, like, finish that up, right? Dance till you die, studio. Let's just go over here. There's Buzz's bar. We've already kind of been this way, but I want to go in a little bit. Oh, there's a popping pills over here. Right there. Munch's carpet. Vulture. Keep my eye open for dogs and bears. Highway right through the center of town. Nice try, buddy. He tried, then he failed. See ya. Okay, blueberries and potatoes are over here. Okay, I have to remember that. This is cell tower? What are these? Yeah, cell tower. Good place to get iron. You can check those out at some point. This POI is relatively on the right hand side here. It's relatively easy to go through. We can get some stuff out of that. This is cell tower again. On the right here. I don't know. It looks like it's mostly collapsed though. Whatever it is. There's two of them here in a row. This isn't the waterworks, is it? No, that's the waterworks there. Oh, that's the oil facility. Maybe we do that. Well, there's another oil plant over here. Wait, no, these are waterworks, right? That's just an oil tower. No, it's the clunky oil company. What the hell? I thought this was... Where's the water... Where's the waterworks? Am I just like crazy? What's up, buddy? I wonder if we can run this guy over. Yeah, apparently we can. Alright, 
let's get inside and drop this stuff off and we're gonna wait for the trader I don't think we really need to um, go off and sell stuff right now there's nothing we I mean, other than beakers I'm not I, I never did look to see when that guy was refilling his um, refilling his stock he's just wandering away he's like you ran me over and I'm leaving all right you leave all right we're gonna end this episode a little early today got this up and running now it's nice wait I got three more on that one. I got more on that side. That's not a big deal. All right, we're going to leave that one block there. Grab these three. And, like, even if we come out here at night to fight, we should be good. Like, I can't see a small horde getting through this. I mean, maybe, but we can always jump out through there and go up along the wall there. We're going to need to put stairs up on the wall, though. All right, here we go. Let's drop this stuff off, and we'll call it a day. We've got some brass that can go in here. We've got some lead that can go in here. Um, turn that on. we got iron that can go in this one. Uh, you know what? We're going to need this in here, so let's do this. Get that going. Um, so we got like 50 yucca, so we can make 25... Uh, oh, we got more than that. We got 61 yucca. Nice. Okay, that's great. Another 21 eggs. Man, we killed it today. 306 water. Um, and we got some stuff for trading here. We got two coins. We got these guys. Put them down here. And then... Uh, ammunition. 213 rounds. 89 rounds and then we'll take like over half of this out of here because we don't need all this on us so we've got enough for horde night i think well maybe not at least pistol ammunition if we if we throw up a, if we're using a pistol we should be fine and we'll have a better pistol too because we're going to make one yeah all right this stuff can go in here um let's put all this in here i mean we're not going to run out of feathers anytime soon don't need these now. And then this can go in here. Glass jars. And I am going to cook up some water. Like, actually, well, maybe not all this. Maybe just 40. I think that's probably good enough. And then we'll make some uh, yucca out of it. And we'll, that's what we'll be drinking for the next little while. All right. And before we do that, let's grab. 22. We need 55 of these guys. And some wood. Don't know if we'll need more than that. Cool. Bacon and eggs first. 124. Bottle of water. Three. We will need one more. Ah. Really? I think it's only going to be one more. 538. Oh, wait, we don't need one more. 444. Yeah, that's fine. It's four something there. Okay, cool. All right, guys, that will end the episode for today. Um, it was kind of a weird one. It was really two days in one, uh, just simply because it had to be. Um, gathering up all the materials to build a base and then um, doing that building and then going exploring a little bit. But tomorrow we're going to hit up the Clunky Oil Company. Uh, definitely going to go over there and check things out. Um, see what's going on and um, yeah hopefully we can find some good stuff I'd like to find an AK or a submachine gun something along that line whether we do or not it's going to be a completely different story and we're really down on water like ridiculously low but then again we were riding through half the town without drinking so there you go all right, so I'm going to leave the episode there. If you'd like to drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Um, also, if you haven't, uh, if you got any comments or any any um, uh, um, suggestions, please drop them in the uh, comment section. Um, also, um, just so you know, everything like this is all pre-recorded, so this is like done several days in advance. Um, and if I don't get to your comment right away or we don't change things earlier on, that's the reason why. It's just that. Uh, uh, 
uh, the episodes are uh, kind of pre-recorded. All right. So until next time, we'll see everybody later.